as we look at radar, there's two things that can affect our weather. One is Harvey. You've heard about Harvey again and again and again. And Harvey just doesn't want to move quickly. We also have Irma on the coast here. But the, another thing that's uh, controlling our weather is high pressure behind this and some cooler air that's going to move in. So, yeah, we'll probably get some remnants from uh, Harvey. Uh, as for Irma, Irma may just stay on the coast and uh, we'll get some light rain out of this into the weekend. For now, we're getting some light rain. We're going to be watching this approaching uh, line of showers. Uh, that's moving in an easterly direction. Might catch up with us this afternoon. For now, we just have some light rain in uh, Trumbull County now. It's been more like sprinkles, and you can expect that off and on throughout the day as we run Future Tracker through the first news at noon. You're not going to see a lot of activity here, but you are going to see some spots here and there around 3.30 uh, first news at 5 and 6, looks like it's going to be dry. And then we uh, make our way into Wednesday. Wednesday morning we start off dry during first news this morning, but by the afternoon we start to pick up again some light sprinkles here and there, isolated showers, nothing much, and then it tapers off once again. How about Thursday? Well, Thursday the rain's coming from a different direction. You saw it coming up from the southwest. Now, Thursday, we get through the morning hours dry for the most part until we hit about 9 o'clock. And then we start to see the rain coming down from the north. That's because we have cooler air mixing in. And that's going to cool us down. You'll see a big change there on Friday. So our weather team forecast for today. 75, mostly cloudy. That uh, chance of uh, isolated showers that continues into tonight. At midnight, we're around 62 degrees. Then for tomorrow, we start off mostly cloudy, about 56 degrees, heading into the afternoon with that chance of showers and a high of 78. Then we see a big change here as we go Thursday. We get those showers, but those showers are coming in with the cooler air. So it's only 68 on Friday and the lows Thursday through Friday and Friday into Saturday are in the 40s. Then we hit the weekend, 73 on Saturday, a dry day, but back to that 30% chance of showers on Sunday and Labor Day Monday. It shouldn't mess up your holiday altogether. You'll be able to spend some time outdoors and enjoy Labor Day weekend.